Madat Nat Ma'at Wa, the words of truth. Chapter three is from what I remember waking up on a Wednesday in June of 2002, 37 verses. Ya Nature Wa, the broken spirit doth cry to you. Have mercy for your most merciful. You are out touched. Eternality. Our time is not a week. Sajma, a God of hearing. Ni, hear me. Lighten my burden from others. Ya Iw. Praise to the deity, Naturwa, for all but the full doth fear you. For we doth suffer for our iniquities. Hear, O world, the rules of life. Give ear to understand wisdom. How do you give in to your enemies that you just sit idly by till you go to your graves? Have you abandoned the path of wisdom? If you walk in truth and good, one will abide in pleasure and satisfaction forever and ever. Learn where you can obtain wisdom, strength, and understanding. Who has found their place? What will become of the wicked who ruled the beasts? For they struck down the fowls of the air and hoard the money. In silver, they make secret works. They go to the graves only to be replaced by others. Young that see the truth, but know not the path of knowledge. They didn't understand the path or want to. Many have not heard of it. There are visionaries that have searched for the truth. They have wrote great stories and fables. If they found the truth, they but made additions and subtractions. Natur wa natuf hakta jatnam naha. The one only deity is the ruler of the everlasting eternity. But greater is the possession and majesty of the one and only deity than that of all the kings. There have been those big, strong, crafty, and fighting, but they have forgot the one that made them. Since they chose not the path, the knowledge was heading to them. They were destroyed because of this unwise choice. Who has gone to heaven and brought down the Churwa? Who has went across the waters and found the Churwa? Nay, I say, none can reach or even imagine Churwa. The one with knowledge knows of the Churwa. The one with understanding believes in the Churwa. The Churwa is the deity over the sun and all the lights. They obey in fear. The star doth shine according to the command of the Churwa. The one and only deity is the one who is beyond description. And none are equal to or even comparable to. The one and only deity is deity over truth and knowledge and has revealed the word to Idris, Kulub, and Ibrahim, giving them great and powerful words of the path of Shumfs, worship, and religious knowledge. And what are your I can't like hearing uh, broken spirited, broken spirited. Uh, you know, oh, how easy this can happen uh, for a person to become broken spirited. You know, it's almost like it's a it's a daily thing to guard against this. Is it easier nowadays? Um, broken spirited. Or, you know, has it always been that way? I really don't know, but my guess would be yes. So the one yeah. guy's name, one, one guy is basically, you know, Enoch. And the mm -hmm. other, 
before the Bible, Ibrahim was spoken of by the Egyptians. So before the Israelites existed, there was this guy named Ibrahim, and he's supposed to have traveled from the per uh, from the Persians, and met with the priest in nor in that corner of north in the corner of northeast Africa. But he wasn't. He was like beyond the priesthood. And I don't really remember what the ancient Egyptians said about him, other than he was a monotheist. But um, and Kalu that means like a dog. So the so, um, but not. All references to dogs are, are, you know, derogatory or whatever. Um, the Bible is not terribly agreeable with its references to dogs, but um, but we have this this reference to star. You know, a, a lot of people, they worship Sirius. So Cyrus, they would think that Cyrus was the kid, was was the deity. And the idea is that there's a power over Cyrus. So all this stellar magic you could say you can get beyond the idea of this thing being a deity when you use it um and people and their you know they think that particular things you know some people hoard their wealth and they claim we need to do this for for our magical powers because you know you know how many rituals and stuff they actually require gold and all this stuff but there's always always a professional priesthood that says Bring us all the gold and jewels so we can hang out with all the golds and jewels. Well, you know, for, for, for religious reasons, we swear it's for the deities. Um, <laughs> the, uh, but the thing is, it's like you can nowadays, particularly nowadays, particularly, you can have all sorts of things going on with that is you can have mm -hmm. uh, and see and, and, and this thing about the beast. It's like we're we're living in a beast. The human is a beast, just like the other things are a beast. Um, we're just not as uh, we're we're more versatile than some things, but you know we're not really supreme in anything in terms of this physical world. We think about it, but ultimately we're kind of not. And the way we use our intelligence, there may be smarter uh, the 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 uh, who for all we know, there are some of the whales and stuff are smarter. And you get little things with brains like this big, and they. They communicate to each other really well. Yeah. And and it seems to be complex. And they, they make just like one type of sound and it sounds like the other sound and that it elicits completely different behaviors. Um, I thought not long ago, uh, I was just thinking it. I was like, whoever thought of language, <laughs> you know, like words to communicate. Ugh. <laughs> and, you know, so hard to express oneself with you know okay, and, th and this one this one started that first verse aleph ha lam meme raw so that that's what this thing is you have the vulture you have the twisted rope you have the lion and you have an owl and you have mm -hmm. you know the mouth yun nature wa are yeah ya nature wa so I think I read that wrong, but we don't need to re-record to get that point. The word for eternity, as is, as it's determinative, that thing that you see in the word hatap, you know, to be pleasing to, or worship or whatever. Um, see, that's why we get confused with our word for worship. Are we referring to a deity? No, no, we're trying to please something. Certainly, please the please the ultimate a causal, as one's familiar with that term first, but. Um, And just like just like in the previous verse, okay, in the previous verse, people, uh, the previous chapter, we were talking. Uh, it was talking about how people, um, they, um, you know, some people are just ignoring stuff. They're pretending, hey, I don't know this. I'm not going to learn it. Don't don't tell me this. And here's people that know, but they don't understand. But it's also because they don't want to. When you rely on other people to just interpret everything all the time, that, that's that's why I leave my comments open, whether right or wrong, comment. But well, I mean, uh, you know, try to be right. Just don't comment to be, you know, just contrary or something. But you know, uh, you know, uh, there's different things for different people, and there's some specifics of interpretation that would be.
holy for them and it would be right for them. Um, mm -hmm. But people, you know, so many of the mistakes, what happens when you get too conservative is you make your mistakes and you make those of other people. It's as other people make all the interpretations and you can't live up to their interpretations. And it's like, it's like that one porn song, except, except hopefully without the bodies everywhere. Um, it bodies everywhere. And, and that didgeridoo thing he does with the microphone. Um, that's probably why I learned, uh, 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 didgeridoo's were too expensive and I just decided to learn how to make the sounds without. <laughs> <laughs> um because it's it's really about the technique it's not about you having a having a slick tube of wood or or pvc pipe that you've warped mm -hmm. <laughs> um but the thing is is that whether the thing is of the sky or the earth they have their law too just like there's different rules sometimes when you go into the mental and the spiritual realms you know, in your the animals, they have different rules too. So you know, maybe the lion's going to be, uh, maybe the uh, you know the the bear that rips apart a person in the woods. Well, maybe it would have been wrong for it not to. Right. Um. And we've kind of got to know their terms or something. That I don't know if you've seen bears where you're at, but twice. Mm -hmm. Twice in my uh, uh, on 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 my home, bear uh, uh, bears have went through the uh, one bear at yeah. the time, uh, but twice there's been a bear on the property. Oh yeah, yeah. Sometimes they'll get in people's trash. It, it's I think kind that of was it. I think that was it. It came down for the, but you know, yeah. with people and their guns and they don't like the machines and all that. They just try to find a more secluded spot yeah. up in the mountains or something rather than. Um, but if the electricity turns off, it's that's going to happen. And and this one part, verses 29 to th 32, kind of kind of reminds me of that thing in Job. You know, his question is like, who has done this? Who has done this? And it's this sort mm -hmm. of formula you see elsewhere, but um, okay. Nature. Voila. Nutuf ha. Some of my earlier rituals I use that a lot. Chutnum Nafi. Oh Nafa. Okay. So yeah, it this 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 eternity thing. And I, I like I, I like how when you're not the, the general thing you have I, I like how the how the hieroglyphs mm -hmm. like how they have all these pictures and so they yeah. have sounds it's not joseph smith was not right in how he did this but you can look at the pictures and the little bit he did get right as far as what you would call a translation is because he looked at the pictures and it's like this is like a pole and this is like this and um yeah. So it reminds kind of sure. this. Yeah. And so he didn't know that the embalming thing was that was embalming. He wasn't offering a human sacrifice. Right. And he altered uh, and and so some things that you know, but it, you know, I, I did that before. I've I I have somewhere a little some some pages that I was taking some hieroglyphs and it's like, what is it, what would this mean? other than what it says in ancient Egyptian, but what does it mean mm -hmm. by looking at the pictures? So I did yeah. that. And, you know, next thing I know, I'm using tarot, but I'm not using tarot as some sort of secret work, like I'm controlling people because I can ship the cards and and necessarily fit. I mean, you can meditate and do rituals and all sorts of stuff and things will attach to whatever. It doesn't matter whether it's a tarot card, like, like it's a more accurate deck than another. It's like, some decks have more of a reaction or less of a reaction or different reactions than some other ones as far as what it does to the person. But as, mm -hmm. it, as far as it being a more accurate deck, I don't, I don't know about that. Some decks, mm -hmm. most decks nowadays are just, are more art. You know, the, the Bosca Tarot, the Rider Waite Smith, the Crowley Tarot, the, uh, I guess, Sinister Tarot, some of the other ones have very, very specific, 
you know, they've been very specific about trying to convey a mythology, but a lot of them don't. A lot of them are just, you know, we want to have a tarot deck so we can have a tarot deck. We're not really bringing anything to the table mythologically, symbolically, whatever. But it's it's a way of organizing the stories and stuff like this. It's not, it's not you know, you've shuffled the deck of cards and now you can tell the future or that this, that, or the other. It's what myths you attach to it. Um, but yeah, that's that's sort of the origin of some of that. Um, and this word for worship, the uh, you, you may have seen it. It's 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 like it's like you're carrying something on a sled with a box in the middle, but it's like upright instead of you know side to side. Mm -hmm. You wonder, you wonder with some of these things. Okay, why does this have the little chick, and why does this have the have the owl? And some of it, like, here's an Egyptian word before we switch to something else. Guess which, what this means. Mew. You know, so we're um, from there. Oh, there is, yeah, an like animal, <laughs> animal sound. And, and, and so in some languages, you do just make the sound. And it doesn't matter what it looks like, you just make the sound. So M... Mm -hmm. Uh, you know the the owl and the two reeds and the twisted rope. That's that's a cat. <laughs> but I guess it can relate to a cat in a way because the cat, um, yeah. well, it's a predatory animal, kind of like a like like a like a owl. It can it can grab mm -hmm. things um, and take them uh, and drag them somewhere or something. And it also can, uh, you know, it binds animals. So obviously it holds animals down and does what it's going to do. So. It's sort of a binding creature. I can't yeah. really think off the top of my head what the what the couple reeds are going to do. It's a communicative critter. I guess that could be it because the reeds mm -hmm. relate to the papyrus, you could say. Mm 